Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Leanne Williams. I'm the founding director of the Stanford Center for Precision Mental Health and Wellness. And it's my absolute pleasure to open the second annual symposium of our center. We're thrilled uh, that so many of you are able to join us. There are another 600 or so on Zoom, uh, and they'll be engaged throughout the day. I wanted to share briefly a little about the vision for our center. Our vision is for an entirely new approach to mental health. We want to bridge the gap between neuroscience and the clinical treatment of mental health disorders. And to do so, we leverage rapid advances in technology and data sciences. Our center is very fortuitous to act as a connector across people, disciplines, and schools. As you would know, precision medicine approaches have transformed how we understand and care for other complex disorders, including cancers, heart disease, and infectious disease. Yet we have not yet witnessed such breakthroughs for mental illnesses, despite the devastation they cause. Our theme today is one of hope, the future for precision neuroscience and mental health. Many of us here today have been impacted by mental illness, personally or through loved ones. Every 40 seconds, another person ends their life due to mental illness. This is the number reported by the World Health Organization. We believe these tragedies are preventable and that we can do something about it. Today you will hear about breakthroughs that can transform lives now. You're in for a treat. Thank you to each of our exceptional speakers who formed today's exciting program of plenaries and keynotes. Their findings are at the very cutting edge of precision neuroscience diagnostics and therapies. I also express how grateful we are to each of the supporters of our center projects, our faculty, and our industry affiliates, many of whom are here today. Without you, this work would not be possible. We look forward to continuing exciting partnerships. We're extremely proud that the center has grown to more than 70 faculty members and many early career investigators in just a few years. To learn more about our center, I invite you to look through the articles, videos, and podcasts featured on our website. And for those of you here in person, I also invite you to look through the flyers on your table. During the day, posters will be displayed on the screens, highlighting research uh, outcomes from center members. And center staff are with us here today. They have a designation on their badge and would be delighted to answer questions. Along with my co-director, Ruth O'Hara, and associate director, Alan Schatzberg, I invite you to share the news about our center within your own networks. Please do share widely the exciting breakthroughs you hear about today. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome to the podium Dr. Victor Carrion. Dr. Carrion is the John A. Turner Professor and Vice Chair of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at Stanford University and Director of the Stanford Early Life Stress and Resilience Program. I'm delighted that Dr. Carrion, on behalf of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences, will give the welcome to all of our special guests, presenters, and center members. Thank you, Leanne. Good morning. On behalf of the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences, and on behalf of our chair, Dr. Laura Roberts, Welcome to the second annual Center for Precision Mental Health and Wellness Symposium. A warm welcome to all of you here in person and also all of the attendees around the globe that are joining us uh, today via Zoom. My special thanks uh, to our opening plenary speaker, Dr. Josh Gordon, Director of the National Institute for Mental Health, and to our wonderful faculty uh, presenters who span multiple schools here at Stanford and collaborating institutions. 
With our experiences during the pandemic and with the ongoing challenges that we face around the world, it has never been more clear how we all can get affected by things like war, natural disasters, pandemics, and not all of us get affected equally, right? We all get affected differently. And that precision, that importance has never been more underscored than in the past uh, few years. Today, you will hear about incredibly exciting advances that bring hope to new solutions to mental health disorders. These discoveries build on breakthroughs, recent breakthroughs really, in neuroscience and in technology. As a leader in psychiatry with a special focus on young people, I, I can really see every day at a bird's eye view how these breakthroughs can transform lives, and not only for young people, but really across the lifespan. The Center for Precision Mental Health and Wellness was founded from our department in 2018. Innovation is made possible through a truly collaborative approach, like you just heard, more than 70 faculty members from uh, multiple departments are part of this center. Hence, the center really works as a catalyst. It is a catalyst for cross-disciplinary research and for fostering early investigator careers. Major mental disorders impact an estimated one of every five of us. The challenges posed by COVID-19 and social distancing, a term that really should have been physical distancing, no one should be socially uh, distant from anyone, um, have significantly increased the number of individuals affected uh, with symptoms of mental illness. We see that, we're seeing that now daily in our clinics. Despite this ubiquity, diagnosis and treatments for mental illness have been relatively stagnant in common clinical practice. And what we see in psychiatry care really is that it is kind of agnostic to new discoveries and to biological measurements rather than to be informed by it and be tailored by it. It is this deficit, the core motivation for developing precision approaches for mental health. The advances you will hear about today highlight these breakthroughs. You will hear about exploratory therapeutics, rapid acting therapeutics, digital approaches, wearables, and studies on cognition and emotion, once again, across the lifespan. Our chair, Dr. Roberts, and I are thrilled that the center has a focus on not only fostering early phase faculty and future leaders in precision psychiatry, but also in helping train a new generation of mental health clinicians that will adopt many of these discoveries into their practices and hence accelerate this translation of scientific insights into the clinic. In these many ways, the Center for Precision Mental Health and Wellness is a shining example of how our department has become a platform from which to stretch out and serve our campus, our community, and our world. Without a doubt, you're in for a treat today. Welcome again to the second annual symposium of the Center for Precision Mental Health and Wellness. We welcome your ongoing partnership as we realize the biomedical revolution for modern precision psychiatry. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Carrion, for your impactful words and warm welcome to the symposium. I'm now delighted to hand over to Dr. Ruth O'Hara, co-director of the Center for Precision Mental Health and Wellness, and who will kick off our program and introduce our esteemed opening plenary speaker. <laughs> 